Hello, my fellow toy hobbyists. Hopefully you are having a wonderful day, wonderful evening, depending on your time frame, wherever you may be. Regardless, hopefully you are having a wonderful time, and I just thought I'd do a video for you. This is my toy collection 2.0, something like that. Uh, this is a cabinet that I have in my bedroom, and this is some of the stuff that I've, I got displayed in it. There's a little of everything in this cabinet. This particular cabinet has one drawer in it, and I put a lot of my carded Star Wars figures in it. This is stuff that I can't display. And here is a closer look at the stuff I have on top. There's Jake the Snake Roberts. Jake the Snake is my all-time favorite wrestler. Wrestling ain't the same anymore. There's a vintage Masters of the Universe carrying case. I remember when I was a kid, and I'd go spend the night at my friend's house. I would put all the, the Masters of the Universe that I wanted to play with in that case and haul it off to whichever friend I was going to go stay at. There's an X-Wing right there, uh, piloted by Porkins. I can hold it. Here's a Walmart exclusive deluxe hot rod. I, I can't stand that figure. I think it's stupid, but it's a part of my collection. There's an MP Shockwave, uh, Voyager Megatron, another Jake the Snake figure. The Walmart exclusive G1 reissues. I have several of those. Behind that sound wave, there's actually a vintage G1 sound wave in a box. There's an MP sound wave. MP Megatron. Will Jack, I can't remember what version that is. There's uh, Alternators, I, I believe. Yeah, yeah, Alternators, Will Jack. There's some Snake Eyes, Cobra Commanders back there. There's a, they're all on top of a commemorative Optimus Prime. Yeah, here's a Venom. I don't know, well, I mean, I haven't found a spot for him. But eventually I'll move them. There's my G1 Optimus Prime. Here's my Starscream figures. Darth Vader. Cup. I don't know how he got in there. I guess I haven't found a spot for him. Another Will Jack. Yeah, just different stuff in here. Alright, continuing with what's inside the cabinet. Here's some of my Masters of the Universe. This is a mixture of 2000X vintage and classics with some vintage vehicles in there. Mr. Fisto right there. Forgot what the name of the horse is. But yeah, Mr. Cobra Khan, one of those loyal subjects, Trap Jaw, 2000X He Man, 2000X Skeletor. 2000X Triclops, here's some, some of the classics that I have. And in case you're wondering if I have some Masters of the Universe inside that case, yes I do. Skeletor, Steamcore, Triclops, Webster, Hordak, He-Man, Buzz-Off, Man-at-Arms. That's what I have inside the case. And here's some Masters of the Universe that I have just lying around in a box in my bedroom again. I don't have room for a lot of this stuff. Uh, there's a few right here, Extendor. I'll just go ahead and show you one more, see who else is in here. Mr. Faker. And continuing with what's inside the cabinet, this is my mask collection. I do have Boulder Hill, but because it's a big playset, I don't have the room to display it. I actually have it inside the tote inside the laundry room but this is the stuff I do have on display as far as mask goes there's the Rhino I don't know what G1 Blaster is doing there I don't know maybe I just set him there for a while and forgot to move him but he's there uh, there's the Piranha and the good old Switchblade mask Welcome to my toy room, man cave, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to show you what I have on my walls and on one of the cabinets. I'm not going to show you the whole room because my daughter's staying in it and, well, she's trashed the whole place. But here's some of the stuff that I do have on the wall. Those are some cool pictures. 
I actually found those pictures at Ross. And here are some Transformers, some Wolverines, and we'll get to those what's inside those boxes here momentarily in the closet. But here's a Stinkor. Yes, I do play the mandolin. That is a mandolin in the background. But anyways, Mr. Stinkor. Here's some of my G.I. Joe stuff. This is a vintage Tomahawk with a mixture of vintage figures and modern G.I. Joe figures. And I forgot what those little G.I. Joe figures are called. But there's a GoBot right there, a Fang, and two Dragonflies, one vintage, one modern. Here's some of my Cobra figures. Again, mixture of vintage and modern figures. Moccasin, Hydrofoil, Night Vipers. I like those Night Vipers. Here's some more. There's some carded stuff back there in the back. Uh, my Cobra Stuns. Again, vintage and modern. Just a mixture of the both. Another moccasin, a modern moccasin actually. And some vipers. Here's some more of my continuing with the G.I. Joe stuff. That's my vintage killer well. Some vintage figures back there in the background in those plastic cases or whatever they're called. Again, this is all I'm able to display. Here's another shelf on that cabinet. This is all Star Wars stuff, Star Wars related, Black Series, Play Arts. That's Darth Vader, Boba Fett there in the background. Uh, six inch Black Series, Django Fett. Um, here's some Transformers on the bottom shelf. These are all third party and, and I believe there's a few Hasbro in there. MP versions. Optimus Prime. Bumblebee Hot Rod. Grimlock. And uh, there's my Millennium Falcon. And here's some boxes I haven't opened, some uh, TIE Fighter and some Masterpiece Transformers. And this is where I keep a lot of my vintage G.I. Joes. You can see I got some figures in here. Got some more figures right here. A few customs in there. And some more on the bottom. But yeah, this is where I keep my figures that I'm not able to display. Now, what do you say we turn our attention to the closet? And you guessed it, inside those boxes, a lot of figures, a lot of toys. I have Transformers, Masters of the Universe, I believe, G.I. Joe. Uh, there's that the box to that Grimlock that I had on display. I have uh, Hot Toys boxes up there. I have a, maybe a few Hot Toys up there that I haven't even opened. There's my paintball stuff. Here's my G.I. Joe headquarters, and under that headquarters, there's that tote. I have the USS flag in there, and there's my custom Sky Striker. And here are my 12-inch figures that I'm able to have on display. I have uh, Darth Vader, Captain Rex. Those are both Sideshow exclusives. I have Hot Toys, Kylo Ren. Hot Toys, Hawkeye, Wolverine, Snake Eyes, that's Justice League Batman, that's a shot, Sideshow exclusive Darth Maul, but yeah, these are, these are pretty cool, again, these are the only ones I'm able to display, and again, more storage, and this is the laundry room, and my wife hates me for this because this takes up so much space, but inside these totes, you guessed it, bunch of figures. I believe this box right here, I believe this is my Cobra Terror Drone. Let's open her up and see. Yes, it is. This is my Terror Drone. And again, because it's such a massive piece, I can't display it. I'll go ahead and open up a tote just to give you an idea. But yeah, here's some modern G.I. Joe. And some more. This is just a mixture of G.I. Joe, Star Wars, Master of the Universe. Just different stuff inside these totes. Yeah, my toy collection.